Now, if you're doing commercial toothpaste in the hopes that it will clean your teeth, make your breath fresh, you might want to think twice. In order for this to make sense, I first need to explain what your spit is made out of, okay? Your saliva. You produce a tremendous amount of saliva every day. It's 1,500 milliliters. That's over 51 ounces of saliva every single day. Now, what's in saliva? Well, you have electrolytes, trillions of bacteria. You have an enzyme to help you break down starches. You have a protein that helps coat vitamin B12 so that it can pass through the stomach and get absorbed into the small intestine. There's mucus in there to keep everything flowing. And then you have sodium bicarbonate. That is baking soda. So the glands in your mouth actually make baking soda to help neutralize the acids that are occurring in the fermentation process when you feed your microbes in your mouth too much sugar, as well as the candida. There's this byproduct of a certain acid and that pH is important because if the acid is too acidic, you're gonna develop cavities. In your saliva, there's actually white blood cells. There's all sorts of antibacterial or specifically antipathogenic factors. And it's important not to disturb the chemistry of what's in that saliva. Because if it's too altered to one way, you start getting inflammation in your gum as gingivitis or periodontal disease. You start developing cavities you start getting an overgrowth of yeast or candida on your tongue. You start developing bad breath, chronic halitosis. And you can even develop biofilms, which are microbial colonies in slime and calcium in your tonsils. So I hope now you understand the importance of the saliva and what it's doing to help clean your mouth and keep your breath fresh and prevent all these other diseases that can happen in your mouth. So think about this. Here you use commercial toothpaste, right? What's in commercial toothpaste? Well, you have fluoride, which is very harmful to both good and bad bacteria. You also have triclosan. Well, actually they just banned it. That's a chemical that acts as an endocrine disruptor, which creates resistance to certain bacteria. And then they put um, sodium lauryl sulfate, the same stuff in your shampoo. They put that in your toothpaste, like a lathering or a foaming type cleaning detergent, which what do you think that does to your friendly microbes? Then you have propylene glycol, the same stuff they put in antifreeze. They put that in your toothpaste, which is a solvent, which can also contain something called dioxine, which is a carcinogen. In fact, sodium lauryl sulfate can also contain dioxin as well, which like I said, is a carcinogen. And on top of everything, let's put some artificial flavoring in there, some artificial coloring, some parabens, which are endocrine disruptors, chemicals that eventually turn into formaldehyde. And on the icing on the cake, let's put a little carrageenan in there, which creates inflammation in your gut. Here you are thinking you're doing your mouth some good by using this commercial toothpaste, when in fact, it's altering the microbiome and the chemistry of your saliva. So I wanna give you a very simple four ingredient recipe to make your own toothpaste, which is very inexpensive and that has absolutely no side effects and will give you nothing bad or negative. It'll actually support your healthy saliva. You start off with one teaspoon of coconut oil, okay? Then you add a half of a teaspoon of baking soda. Then you add a fourth of a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide, food grade 3%. Don't add the 35%. Then you simply add three drops of one of those oils. Okay, it could be clove, cinnamon. You could also use oregano oil. Of course, the scent might um, taste like a pizza, but um, I think these other ones are really, really beneficial. So this is a slight modification of another recipe I gave in this video on how to prevent placking. Check it out, I just put it up right here.